So, what is my top 10 looking like? It took forever for me to make my top 10, but here it is. But real quick, if you are my friend or known me for a while, you probably know what my number one is. But if you've never met me, well then welcome into my rollercoaster of a life. In this video, we will be ranking my top 10, which I still don't know if I agree with what I even ranked and at what spots I put these at because I have 121 credits. It is not easy to rank 10 courses out of 100, that 121. So it'll probably take me forever to record this video because I will most likely keep changing the roller coasters. But anyway, I'm the Marco Perspective, a Christian enthusiast who just loves roller coasters, if you couldn't tell. Now let's get into this video. 5, 4, 3, 2, let's get it! Yeah! Let's start off with some honorable mentions that did not make my top 10. First off, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. This ride has the best theming I've ever seen. It seemed to Harry Potter, I'm not gonna spoil too much what happens, but let's just say your stomach will drop. That's all I'll say, but anyway, let's move on to the next honorable mention. The second honorable mention goes to Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City. This is literally the best spinning coaster I've ever ridden. I haven't got out to, what, what, the, to ride the Rides of Happiness, so until then, this is my favorite spinner. Because it has great positives, it has launches, and the coaster is placed in the best setting ever. The side of a mountain or something. Now, the next honorable mention. The next and final honorable the honorable mention goes to King the Car at Six Flags Good Adventure. It was super difficult to not put Car in my top ten. It's definitely in my top twenty five, but sadly it's not in my top ten. King the Car is a powerhouse because it has a great launch and a I'm not gonna spoil much because I made a review on King the Car earlier this year. So if you wanna watch it, then it'll be in my it'll be tagged at the top of this video and in the description but anyway let's get into my top 10 enjoy at the number 10 spot it's Mako Steve Orlando BNM Hyper this roller coaster will always be my number one BNM Hyper it's impossible not to gray out at the bottom of the first drop I grade out there every single time, and it has great airtime, especially on that speed hill. This is the GOAT of BM, but it does have some dead spots, which is why I put it at my number 10 spot. At number 9, it's El Toro, this amazing prefab at Six Legs Good Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. This coaster is Insanity. It's not the smoothest coaster out there, but it's still awesome. This ride has some of the best airtime I've ever experienced. It's all ejector, but it's not the best airtime I've experienced, just some. Because the airtime is a little rough, because when you come out of your seat, you slam into the lap bar. So the best airtime in the entire universe is coming up in 3, 2, The number 8 spot is no joke my favorite wooden coaster. And the number 8 spot is Phoenix at Kenobos. This thing is all about eject zero time. This is the best air time I've ever felt on any roller coaster, period. It has only buzz bars making you shoot up out of your seat. It isn't as intense at all because the ride is mainly focused on eject zero time. Many facts rolled by PTC. This is definitely PTC's best roller coaster ever. It is kind of repetitive, but I don't care because it has so much airtime. You truly gotta experience it yourself to know what it feels like. Let's move on to my number 7 spot. The number 7 spot is Outlaw 1. 
This amazing RMC hybrid coaster is packed full of airtime, intensities, and inversions. I don't know about you guys, but the first out of bank inversion thing made me go out slightly every single time. And the double barrel at the end actually gets hang time somewhat, somehow. I don't know how, but I was hanging going through the double barrel. It's insane. This also has great air time, but it isn't too intense. Like, you don't get a stomach dropping feeling. But now, let's move on to the number 6 spot. Man oh man, it's about to become my top 5. But before this list goes into my top 5, we have to talk about my number 6. And my number 6 is Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast. This insane launch coaster has a really intense launch and great positives going up into that inside top hat. This one is definitely a rather Niogram is still on. It packs a f punch. I mean, holy sh. This insane f***ing is so intense, my head exploded. No, but seriously, this one is a mind blower, pun intended. It's one of the best launch coasters in existence. Now, onto my number 5 spot. Get ready. My top 5 is some of the best, most well-known coasters known to man. Kicking off my top 5 is Skywash. I mean, seriously, did you really think Skywash wouldn't be on this list? I had trouble picking between this and S I bleeped that out, not because it's a, it's a cuss word, because I didn't want you knowing what my number 4 spot is, but back to my opinion on Skywash. This coaster is packed with airtime and literally has the best first drop on a coaster period. Except if you ride it enough times, it can give you a headache, so watch out for that. But there's too much to be said about this. Honestly, I can't put in one stroke that- You know what? Screw it. Scouts review coming soon. Now onto my number 4. I'll give you a hint. It's Storm Runner. Okay, that might have been too much of a hint, but honestly, I couldn't hold in my excitement to get to this spot. It's super short, but it's intense as absolute The best part is the flying snake dive. You absolutely fly through the, the flying snake dive. It's madness. Now, onto my top 3. Get ready. My number 3rd spot is none other than Fury 325. This one is the definition of the best BNM ever. It truly is the best BNM ever. It's so windy going through the layout, you literally drool. The highlight of the ride is either the treble cleft or the drop. I just can't choose just one highlight of the ride. Next, onto the second spot. We are coming so close to the number one. Okay, so this ride is very close to being tied with my number one. But what can it be? Well, it's obviously Velocicoaster. I mean, come on. What else do you think it could be? A wild mouth? Hell no. Where do I even start with Velocicoaster? Well, for starters, you get airtime in the most random places imaginable. And then after the first half is where the watch shines. You go from 0 to 70 miles per hour in less than 2 seconds. What's not to like? The highlight of the ride is- Okay, let me try to say it. Mosasaurus Wall. Oh, nice. I actually was able to say it. Okay, this is going to be too long. Let's move on to the number one. But before we do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel, I make tons of roller coaster content and point of views. If you want to stay in the know with everything roller coasters, then hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, so we finally made it. My number one. This is a hit or miss ride because some people love it, while some people think it's overrated. I'm one of the people who absolutely adore this ride. It has so much airtime. It has the best inversion ever known, ever known as the death roll. This is one of the rides where the point of view truly does not do the ride justice. It is complete insanity from start to finish. I was breathless after my first ride. No, seriously, I was breathing very heavily from how good it was. So. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like I said, don't mind subscribing. We offer high quality roller coaster content and oh my.
God, I'm glad I'm done this video. I've been working on it since 5 p.m. And guess what time it is? It's 11.30 p.m. But anyway, I'm Dimoko Perspective, and I'm going to bed. Peace.